it's your boy Nick from MMA Pixels here with Dennis Fatality Fisher. Dennis has a huge matchup coming up February 28th in Hollywood for Smash Global. How are you doing, Dennis? I'm doing fine, man. How about yourself? I'm doing great. I, thank you for asking. Uh, Dennis is ranked number four featherweight in camo. It's true. It's true. So where are you currently training at, Dennis? All right, so I train at Victory MMA. I, mean, I have a few other gyms that I branch off to, but mainly it's Victory and Point Loma, uh, San Diego. So how often are you training? Typically five days a week, mostly twice a day. I try to take the weekends off because I mostly work the weekends. And then I noticed uh, you were fighting in uh, Chicago before you came here to California? Yeah, um, I'm actually from Chicago. Okay, so... You your camo record, I think, is five and four, but I I added it up. I, you would your total record is fourteen and ten. I think so. Yeah. Um, I think it's fourteen and nine. One of those fights was like a no contest. I just never got around to changing it. Okay. Um, um I actually just had my first pro fight uh, a month ago, but it didn't end, end as great as I thought. Uh, kind of gassed myself out in the first round trying to finish a body uh, a rear naked choke. Had a body triangle locked in for like three minutes of the first round. Kind of wore my legs now. Then the second round started, and he just came in and attacked my legs. Real smart. Um, but, I mean, yeah, I gassed myself out. Kind of a poor performance. But it was on two weeks' notice, so I did the best I could. But that was my pro debut, and I kind of sucked. So this would be my second pro fight. All right, well, it's short notice, so you didn't have much time to prepare. But going into it being a pro fight, was there any difference between the amateur and pro fight? Um, to me, honestly, not at all, man, because, like, as you can tell, I have over, like, 25 fights, so it's, it's all the same to me, just a little bit more time to work. Do you notice, like, a jump in skill level? Um, not necessarily, because there are some guys I fought in the amateur that I felt should have been MMA, I mean, I felt should have been pro before they even fought me. One guy in particular, um, Jonathan Kell, and there was another guy, um, Brian Atkins, I fought both of them in amateur. I felt at that time they both should have been uh, pro professionals. The talent level is very high in, in California. Yes, I definitely agree with that. So one thing I noticed about you, Dennis, is you're a really nice guy. I mean, you knock people out with the knee to to the midsection, and then the uh, the left hand you just KO on people, and you don't follow up. You just, <laughs> you just look for the rep to, to save them. <laughs> kind of, yeah, man, because it's like, uh, we're here to fight. I'm not, I'm not trying to kill you, man, you know? <laughs> That's awesome. Plus, like, uh, uh, Mark Hunt, he's like the king of the walk-off, and I, 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 I aim to dethrone him. How about that? <laughs> yeah, but see, the difference between Mark Hunt and you, he walks off and kind of raises his hand. You, like, look for the referee to, like, save this guy. <laughs> like, come on, man, you don't want me killing, do you? <laughs> yeah, you, like, legitimately seem concerned for his health. I know, man. That's kind of bad. I fight that I don't want to really hurt nobody. But I mean, I love this sport, man. So I noticed you did uh, some picks for UFC 219. Do you normally do MMA picks? I try to, man, especially for the big events. I always try to do like, some type of picks. There's a couple of my buddies. They like to bet on them. I'm not really a gambling man, but I, I don't know. I just like to talk shit to them, I guess. Okay. I've seen your uh, UFC 219 picks. You're either really good or not so great. Right. It's like I, I hit them all or I just kind of like shoot blanks or something, man. <laughs> yeah, that's how it goes. I, I do pick sometimes. I think uh, UFC 214 where all the underdogs won. Destroyed yeah, all my picks. I, sometimes I think that's the problem. Sometimes I pick my fights with emotions instead of actual tactics. Like, I like this fight, so I want him to win. All right. Uh, is there any sponsors helping you out? Yeah, at this time, man, um... I'm sponsored by Lifestyle West. It's a clothing brand. Then Combat Corner, the equipment. Then um, Don't Peace Audio. It's like uh, headphones and wireless, uh, well, pretty much wireless headphones. Genesis Recovery, too. It's like, uh, it's pretty much just a recovery place. You know, after you work out, you go there, chill, relax. It's a pretty dope place, too. Where can the fans connect with you on social media? Um, I'm mainly, uh, I think the easy way to do it is probably Instagram at fatalitymma.com. I mean, I have Twitter. I think it's fatalitymma.com too. But I'm not really on it. Um, I have Facebook too. 
I'm always on Facebook. <laughs> uh, Dennis Fisher. Well, I have a, a MMA page, a fan page. It's Dennis Fatality Fisher. It's not that hard to find. I appreciate your time, Dennis. Definitely. No worries, man. No worries, man. I look forward to doing this again someday, you know? Maybe after the fight. Right on. February 28th, Smash Global in Hollywood. Dennis Fatality Fisher. We're going to make the heads roll. Yes. More <laughs> combat style. <laughs>